Hey everyone, Lumia Stream is here with a new feature, the Event Rotator. The trend at the moment is towards a minimal overlay setup and this is where the Event Rotator comes into its own. With the Event Rotator you can easily display selected events without having to clutter the screen with the event list or distribute hundreds of labels. You can also use it as a social slideshow at the same time. Let's take a look at how it works. First, as always, we need an overlay. Simply use an existing one or create a new one. To do this, we go to Overlays, click on Add New Overlay, give the overlay a name and set the resolution and click again on Add New Overlay. The overlay opens and we insert the event rotator. Click on Add Layer, then on Streaming Tools and select Event Rotator. As we have already specified a basic setting, it starts to rotate straight away. First, we want to make it slightly larger. We don't do this via the layer box itself, but via the styling. So open the styling tab in the right sidebar. Here you can now select your font and importantly for us, change the font size. We select 36 here and adjust the layer box a little to the new size. Now we close the styling tab and open the tab for the event rotator settings. Here you will now find manage events which we will come to in a moment and a few more options. With duration to show each item we set how long each individual event should be displayed. Below this there are three checkboxes that you can use to display the alert icon, the user avatar and the platform. You can also change the animation of how the events should appear. Now let's open Manage Events. On the left hand side you can select one of the four themes. We are currently using the Lumia Basic theme. On the right hand side you can customize the appearance of each event individually. The Use Global Colors checkbox at the bottom right is important for this. If this is checked, you will always change the colors for all events. Do you select this, in this example, if you only want to change the color for redemptions. So let's change our redemption event a little to illustrate this. We untick Use Global Colors and choose Blue as the board color. We make the title green and we use a new highlight feature and want our variables to appear red. At the top left you can see another tab called Event Rotator Items. Here we set what we want to show our viewers. As you can see, there are already examples for Twitch, YouTube, Facebook and Kik. For the tutorial, we will assume that we are only streaming on Twitch and delete the others. Now the Event Rotator only shows our last Twitch sub, follower and cheer. We will now add the redemptions. To do this, we click on Add Items and a new field is added. We then select Twitch points from the dropdown so that the last channel point redeemer is displayed. We also want to do some advertising for our other social platforms. So we add three more fields and select Title from the dropdown. In Title, you can add whatever you want. You can also use your own variables and present your death counter for example. Or just insert your socials. We are now adding our Twitter, YouTube and Discord account. Click on Save Theme. We automatically jump back to our overlay editor and can now see what we have created. Don't forget to save the overlay. And now we can use the event rotator either as a HUD or OBS overlay. What about you? Are you team eventless or team event rotator? Write it in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and have a luminous day.